In this video, I'm going to show you how to remove coffee stains from carpet even if a professional carpet cleaner couldn't do it. Sometimes coffee stains can be really easy to remove, but other times they can be extremely difficult. This video will show you how to remove coffee stains in 3 steps or less. Make sure you watch the whole video before trying this because the third step is the most interesting, but the first two steps are the most important. So the worst coffee stains are caused by the hottest cups of coffee. This is because most carpet manufacturers add a stain resistant coating to the carpets they produce. These stain resistant coatings work great most of the time unless you spill something really hot like coffee in your carpet. If you spill a hot cup of coffee in your carpet it will actually cause the outside layer of this coating to melt and then the coffee essentially becomes stuck to the stain resistant coating resulting in a permanent stain. Alright, let's get started with step 1. As soon as you spill the coffee, grab some old rags or paper towels and use them to try and absorb as much of the coffee from the carpet as possible. You can even stand on the rags and use your whole body weight to absorb the coffee. Just make sure you keep doing this with dry rags until you've absorbed as much of the coffee from the carpet as possible. The more coffee you can remove in step 1, the easier the next two steps will be. Now for step 2, I'm going to mix up a simple cleaning solution. Fill a 25 ounce spray bottle with water and add 1 teaspoon of dish soap. Mix the solution and then apply it liberally to the stained area. You can let it sit and dwell for a couple minutes, you can also lightly agitate it. For the next part, it's best to use a wet dry vacuum to extract the solution from the carpet. A small inexpensive wet dry vacuum like this will work just fine. You can see that the stain on the right which was cold coffee is coming out pretty easily, whereas the stain on the left from the hot coffee seems to be pretty permanent. After using the cleaning solution I'll always do a rinse with water to remove any soap residue from the carpet. I recommend repeating step 2 more than once because you want to get as much of the coffee out of the carpet as possible. If you don't you could end up with a wicking problem as the carpet dries. So if you clean the carpet and it looks really nice but then the stain reappears after the carpet dries, this is called wicking. As you can see, this happened to me in this demo because I did not get all the coffee out of the carpet in steps 1 and 2. This is also why it's a really good idea to use a wet dry vacuum to properly rinse and extract the coffee from the carpet. Since I have a wicking problem, I'm going to clean the carpet again before moving on to step 3. And this is what it looks like after repeating step 2. The carpet is now thoroughly cleaned and the wicking issues have been resolved. So let's get on with the final step, step 3. The molecule in coffee that gives it its brown color is called a melanoidin molecule. And what you see here is a bunch of these brown molecules have essentially become welded to the carpet and cannot be removed. So I've accepted that we cannot remove these molecules from the carpet so I need to find a way to destroy them. And to do this I'm going to be using an oxidizing agent called hydrogen peroxide. I'll be using 6% salon grade hydrogen peroxide. This doesn't work well with 3% medical grade hydrogen peroxide, it's just not strong enough. Apply the hydrogen peroxide to the carpet liberally. I'm also going to add household ammonia to speed up the reaction. Over the course of this 8 hour time lapse you can see that the stain has significantly lightened. I can still see that the stain is not completely gone so I'm going to repeat step 3. I'll add the hydrogen peroxide and household ammonia again and wait for an additional 8 hours. This hydrogen peroxide reaction can be very slow so just remember to have patience when doing this. 6% hydrogen peroxide isn't commonly available in stores, so I'll post an Amazon link in the description below the video. Also note that the hydrogen peroxide can be used for way more than just coffee stains, and you can check out some of my other videos to learn more about that.
And even after doing this twice, I can still just barely see the coffee stain, so I'm going to go ahead and do this a third and final time. This stain was particularly difficult because I boiled about half the water out of the coffee to make it more concentrated and to make the stain darker and more difficult to remove. I hope that whatever stain you're working with doesn't take this long. Similar to hydrogen peroxide, a wet dry vacuum can also be used to remove many different types of spills or spots from carpet. I'll even use mine to clean spots out of upholstery. Be sure to check out some of my other videos to learn more about this. So after the third attempt, it looks like the coffee stain is completely gone. The dampness in the carpet will mostly be water after 8 hours as the hydrogen peroxide breaks down into oxygen and water and the ammonia evaporates. This leaves zero residue so you don't have to worry about rinsing the carpet after step 3. Just use a towel to absorb any remaining liquid from the carpet and allow it to dry.